Hey guys, Clawwolf here, and I'm back with the fourth episode of the Creative Command Tournament. So let's get right into the eight new contestants. So first off, now we have um, all the contestants behind this set have already gone in an episode, and that's very good. So now we are up to the new contestants, which is JoJo TV, uh, who wants to be known as JoJo TV, Firebreath FRBT Studio, who wants to be known as Firebreath Studio YouTube, um, Artemis Redstone, who wants to be known as Babion Six YouTube. Computer Tech, who wants to be known as C Tech, Jerry BMC, who wants to be known as um, who wants to be known as J Berries. Um, then we have Offrier Ten, who wants to be known as Shlomo Poco. <laughs> then we have Green Speed Sixteen, and MC is the bomb. So those are our eight contestants for today. Let's get into JoJo's. Okay, guys, we're back with JoJo's TV's one, and uh, I had a bunch of bugs with it, but just because I changed the name, so it's not his fault at all. Um, but anyway, so I type slash trigger give B set one, and it'll give me one of these books to do the cosmetic selector. Um, I was just having some problems because I changed his. If you guys send in a function, make the folder for the function your name because I like that better. That way I can tell who's who. Because if everyone sends week one, it's going to be confusing. Anyway, particles, black and white, and it says deactivated. Does that mean it's activated? Oh, okay, you click that to deactivate. So we can get black and white particles. Okay, so that's like the concrete breaking. Um, Nyan Cat. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. You use the multicolor redstone to give you like a rainbow. Oh, that looks so cool when you go in a circle. I like that. This is my uh, forever cosmetic. I'm just going to be Nyan Cat for days. Um, let's see. So we have square. Oh, he did a square. See, I like this. See, this is what I was... He basically did um, kind of like the high pixel custom particle trails and stuff. Uh, I really like that. That's cool. Um, let's check out Torch. Okay, so this is like you are a torch. That's cool. Um, and it looks like a little torch when you stand still. That's cool. It's like a brown torch with a torch. That's cool. Um, poop? Okay, then. So I guess we uh, drop... Nah, this isn't poop. This is beans, dude. This is cocoa beans. Uh, lava cloud? Okay, so it's kind of like a cloud, but it drops the lava. And if you stand still, yeah, it just rains on you. That's cool. Let's see some others. Checkerboard head. Oh, okay, so these are hats. So you have particles and then you have hats. So let's do black and white. No, I want to do the square with the checkerboard head. That's cool. Okay, um, illusion blockhead. That's cool. Um, contrast banner. Whisper you, Easter egg contrast, like you said. <laughs> I can see the contrast already. It's fine. I could see the black and white particle. That counts. And then RGB banner. You just get a banner on your head. Okay. Let's go into F5. Let's see what else there is. Is there anything else? Black and white armor. Okay. Cool. Uh, I suggest maybe giving it um, cannot take off. And then you have RGB armor. Okay. So I get, So it's just a bunch of cosmetics in a book. So that's pretty cool. I do like the complexity. Um, creativity, I would give it pretty high creativity, but not perfectly high because it is just particles, which has been done before. But at the same time, they are really interesting particle shapes. Um, and then in terms of difficulty, fairly difficult to get the particles to look right. But other than that, there's not too much complex stuff going on there. Functionality, I'm sure it works for multiplayer. So I would say it's pretty functional. Um, and uh, that's pretty much all. Design, design's really good. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Okay, so this one's by Fire Breath Studios. It has get items. Turn on. Okay, there we go. So we got the contrast cancel and contrast component. I don't know. Offhand? Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is supposed to be contrast armor. I see. So it flicks your armor on and off between the black and the white. Okay, and then that takes it off, right? Okay, so you put that on, and it'll just constantly go. And then you put this one on, and it takes it off. Okay, that's cool. Um, so this is kind of like an armor animation, kind of like from Hypixel. And um, I'd say it's fairly creative because you did do the switching colors to incorporate contrast, which is nice. Um, and then I would say difficulty, not too difficult. You're just switching the colors and tagging when they have it in their offhand. Um, functionality, I'm sure this works for multiplayer again. Um, and it's not laggy at all, not too many commands. And then uh, design, the design's pretty good. It's a little bit annoying to have to go on and off, so maybe... Um, I don't know if you designed it that way because you wanted it. It could have been intentional that you wanted it so they only put it in their hop hand and then can move it. And then they put it that one and it takes it off. Um, but it can be a little annoying to do that. Um, 
but yeah, so that's that's all I really have to say about this one. It's pretty cool. I would say it's pretty cool, but it could have a little bit more maybe, maybe some particles. But other than that, it's pretty nice. Anyways, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is Special Fireworks by Artemis Redstone. I'll power it. Hello, Cloud Wolf. Hope you enjoy this fireworks display. To get the fireworks, you need to rename a firework one of these. Creeper, Burst, and Cloud Wolf. Hope you enjoy them. Okay, so give at P firework. Let's check these out. Okay. And then we're going to rename them Creeper, Burst, and Cloud Wolf. I believe that's what it was. Let's go Creeper. Uh, let's try it. Whoa. Okay, guys, so it took me a while to figure this out, but it has nothing to do with that. It's, um, you give yourself a item named one of the special things, and I tried to, s and you have to drop it on the ground. Whoa. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try that again so we can actually see that. Let's see. So it ignites the firework from the ground. So let's see that. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So it's a large ball, and then it's a big black creeper face. So it does kind of look like a creeper. The only thing that it is, it's just not square. So it's like a circular creeper. That's cool. Let's check out. I'm interested to see the other ones too. So that's creeper. Let's check out burst. Burst. Yes. Oh, it's like a star and the top like explodes out the top. Okay. That's cool. Okay. So it's like multiple stars inside each other. That's cool. And then I think it was Cloud Wolf? Cloud underscore Wolf. Okay. Okay, so this is like a, it's like a, it's supposed to be my colors, the blue and the black with the star. I see. I was going to say, like, if he was able to make a wolf head out of fireworks, that would be ridiculous. But anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, I'd say this one is medium creative, not too different than what I've already seen and what other servers have. Um, in terms of design, it's okay design. The problem, my only problem is having to drop the named items. Um, in terms of a cosmetic, that wouldn't be too easy to, uh, too, how can I say this? It wouldn't be too convenient to have drop items. Um, but other than that, the fireworks themselves have a cool design and the functionality, it definitely works for multiplayer or whatever. Um, and enter oh i didn't talk about entertainment this one pretty low entertainment jojo medium to high entertainment because there was a lot of combinations i could do this one uh medium entertainment it's like with these two it's kind of like a one time c kind of thing like it's cool but you don't want to do it like a million times um okay so on to the next one i let's figure out who that's by okay so the next one is soundboard by computer tech or c tech also known as Viper Strike 360. Okay, soundboard created by Computer Tech. Soundboard. Thanks for using my only one command. Put that cookie down. Okay. Mm. Oh, there's cookies. Put that cookie down. <laughs> okay, so we just put a bunch of memes in a in a thing. Of course, he put that one. Um, let's see, he man. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh, the memories of the memes that have been used in this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let's see what else there is. One, two, three, four. Uh, he said to avoid four. Okay, Tetris. Oh, this is an old one. Old style. Okay, that's it. <laughs> uh, let's check out the fourth one. Of course, you used uh, the shotgun sound effect that I used in my map roll. Oh! I guess I got Rick rolled, guys. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I like it. Creativity, pretty good. Because I wouldn't see a cosmetic. I've never seen a cosmetic soundboard. Uh, and then, let's see. Design, good design, because it's like in a book. Oh. I better not get copyrighted for this, I swear. <laughs> Um, but other than that, this is pretty cool. I like it. It's, uh, unique. Now, my only suggestion, which this won't take off from any of your points, but, uh, if you're making a separate world and sending it to me and you have a resource pack, you can put the resource pack inside the world save, rename the resource pack to resources, and, uh, it'll, I don't have to actually, like, put it on like this. Um, but other than that, it's pretty sick. I like it. Um, entertainment, 
I'd say it's fairly medium to high entertainment because all the noises were pretty fun to listen to, and I would listen use them uh, in game on uh, some other people to rick roll them. But other than that, that's all that I really have to say about this one. Let's go on to the next one. So the next one is by Jay Berries. It's called Creeper Show. They actually named their folder Jay Berries. Uh, you are supposed to just summon a creeper. So let's see what this creeper show is. Let's check it out. Oh, okay, okay. Hello? Dang. Dang. <laughs> oh, gosh, that was pretty sick. I want to do this, like... Let's do it with, like, a roof. So we can see it a little better. But that was... Well, I'll just launch it up. That was pretty cool. I didn't expect it to just explode in my face. That's a cool cosmetic. It's like another one of the mob cosmetics, like the other ones. So it explodes into a firework, and then it summons these little particle trails that eventually turn into fireworks themselves. That's cool. It's kind of like the... um. They have fireworks that do that. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. I don't know the name for them, but I really like this. This is really nice. This is this is something I would definitely see on a server for like a little cosmetic in the lobby. It's definitely cool. A lot of particles, but no, not really any lag. So that's definitely nice. I really like it. Um, it's a, just another good addition to our set of mob cosmetics. Like we have the slime one. Now we have the creeper one that's firework. Uh, that's really cool. I like it. So creativity pretty medium to high creativity same thing as the slime one like it, i've seen cosmetics like that before but that was a i've never seen a firework creeper like that before so uh bringing something new to something i've seen before um and then design fairly good design you summon a creeper uh, i could that's how a server would have it too or anybody else would have it they would give the players a spawn egg with a special name like creeper show and you just right click on the ground and it'll do it um and then I'd say multiplayer friendly, yes, because it's just working on other mobs. Um, difficulty, pretty high difficulty, just because there's a lot of different particles going on there, but not too difficult to actually do, just kind of tedious. Um, entertainment, it's I used it three times there. It's fun to watch it go off, but um, other than that, it's kind of like a one-time C, but I'm not expecting that much out of entertainment. Like I'm giving people a lot of points for entertainment, if you didn't know, um, even if it's just a one-time C kind of thing. If it looks nice, then... That's, that'll get you the points, because there's not much you, sh you should be able to entertain with with cosmetics, you know? Anyway, so that's all I have to say about Jay Berry's really nice creeper show. I did enjoy the show, and let's move on to the next one. So the next one's by Offer10. Um, let's check it out. Death animation. One command. Say One command, yeah, and I say hi if I click it. Click to choose. Drop into full cauldron, lava bucket, and let's power this. I unpowered it. Drop into cold full cauldron. Okay, so this we're gonna have to do. This is a um a little step set of things we have to do. Okay, so we got a cauldron, lava bucket, and a redstone lamp. So redstone lamp, lava bucket. Okay, looks like it's working. Oh, let's do it from the side. Well, lava bucket and redstone lamp. Then the menu will open in the hot bar. Note because items. Item sim, what, why, can't give scoreboards to players. You need to hover every detect spawn egg that is in your inventory. Um, Detecting, don't drop it, bucket. Okay. So I want to know what exactly we're supposed to do. Uh, let's figure it out. Okay, guys, so I don't know. I couldn't really get it to work, and it's harder to bug fix in this. Uh... Let me kill IE type equals armor. I'm just, uh, whatever, I'll leave him. Um, I don't really know what is supposed to happen here. So if you could tell me what is supposed to happen, because it, it's lagging. So I'll wait to judge that. Um, I'll mark that down. But I don't know. I don't really, I don't get it. I saw the guy that was dying, but I couldn't get the ghost one to work. So I'll wait until you can tell me how to do that. For now, let's just go to the next one. So this one is the cosmetic bow by Green Speed. Let's spawn it in. Um, and we've got probably setting up the scoreboards with the bow and i guess that's powering that okay so so i got the um the thing to do it's two different kinds so here we have the one you're supposed to shoot a spectral arrow to make it um to make it do this one which is the con i can see the contrast here he's got the contrast with the fireworks that's pretty cool it does like a trail let's shoot this really far Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
Now, if you just shoot a normal arrow, what'll happen is uh, something even more ridiculous. It just spawns pigs and uh, a ridiculous trail of pigs and lags your world out. So, <laughs> Woo! okay, so I'd say entertainment pretty high for this one because I could see people shooting these pig bows at people, other people, but I'd say uh, functionality not as good though because the pigs, like if I just shoot this here and leave the arrow, like you might have wanted to create a way to kill the arrow. Um, but if I just leave that there, we'll eventually start getting a little bit of lag. There's quite a bit of entities, so you want to be careful with using that many entities. Oh, it does kill the arrow. Okay. Um, but yeah, so it, it's just, it's really ridiculous, but it's pretty cool in that manner. Um, I'd say creativity uh, medium, because I have seen a bow creation before, but uh, I've never seen somebody shoot pigs out of a bow, so that's pretty cool. Um, but there's not much more to say about that one. Let's move on to the next one. It is getting pretty late. Okay, so the last one is Dangerous Animals by MC is the Bomb. Let's load it up. You have covered all the ones here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the eighth one. Okay, yeah, I was just making sure. Okay, so on, off, killer chicken, TNT sheep. And he said only spawn one at a time. Dangerous mobs. Okay, so killer chicken. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. That is a killer chicken. And he is coming after me. Oh, gosh. Hello? Okay, okay. Let's see if we can kill him. Oh. 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 Die, chicken. Okay. Good. Okay, so that is what I expected it. It was a baby zombie, but luckily he did make the baby zombie... Um, die when you kill it. So let's try the TNT. Oh. Um, probably not a good idea. Okay, yeah. That that could have destroyed some things. Um, yeah, that's a dangerous farm animal, I would have to say. So let's just go into the excellent stuff that I'd have to say about this. So creativity, pretty good functionality. Um, be careful using actual TNT because it can destroy things. Uh, design, it's fairly good design using just to spawn the eggs with the, like, most other places you would see. Um, and then I'd say creativity, uh, not, the same kind of thing, it's another type of mob thing. Um, and then we have, what else? Uh, <sighs> functionality, again, the, um, TNT stuff could be a problem. Um, but that's really all I have to say about this one. Thanks for the submission. And let's go back to the arena where we can kind of debrief. Okay, guys, welcome back. So we had um, an arrow that shot pigs. We had creeper explosions with fireworks. Uh, we had some colorful armor and some colorful cosmetic things. Um, and let's let's think. So contrast, I, I guess I'd have to give the contrast to the last... Well, did the sheep blink between white and red? I can't remember. I'll look back. But the last one didn't really have too much contrast. Uh, the bow, saw the contrast. Ofer, no idea. It had some issues, so we'll have to go over it. Um, Jerry BMC, the creeper show, definitely. I saw the. I saw some contrast in the colors that went up there. Not too much, but I did see a little bit. Computer tech. Um... I guess contrast between the different sounds, but nothing really in the obvious realm. Artem Stone's special fireworks definitely had some contrast in the colors. Um, and then Fire Breath, that was really obvious that it was contrast. Jojo, I saw the contrast in the colors, and there was also the contrast banner. So, good incorporation of the theme word. I'd say about 70% of you did it really well. Um, just a side note, if you are still submitting, you have until January 28th to submit. Um, and if you're doing a one command creation, I would you can just paste the one command creation, like the slash summon command and everything, into the place where it says link to the download. That That's actually really easy, and some people did that. Um, and then also, uh, I guess, oh, there was one other person. It was, let me see. Space Game 202, he sent me a down, you sent me a download to the resource pack, but it didn't send me the function, so I only got the resource pack, so you might want to send me the download link to the function as well. Um, he would have been after JoJo, but it didn't work, so I didn't put him in. And uh, that's pretty much all there is, guys. Thanks for your submitting. How many is this now? One, two, eight. I think that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven by... 
24. We have 24 submissions so far, and um, I will probably release the ratings for everybody's, the numbers, at the end. But uh, this Sunday, I'll probably have the results, or Saturday. Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching and coming to the tournament. And uh, hopefully, I will have the next set of videos out to the next set of eight out tomorrow. And we'll pretty much be all caught up by then. I don't think I have another set of eight yet. I think I only have like four or five. But we'll get those, get to those anyways. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the tournament, leave a like on this video. It would really be appreciated. Um, if you're still wondering about Quantum Labs 2, it's about 25 to 25% done. I still have quite a bit of building to do, but uh, the submissions that a lot of people did for the buildings have been really nice. So see an update video about that. Um, you'll see an update video in a couple days here, maybe this Thursday. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.